Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy's blog. I've been testing out the DeLonghi True Brew coffee maker. The DeLonghi True Brew is an automatic coffee maker, and so it makes drip coffee, but it's also sort of a single brewer, espresso machine, and iced coffee maker all rolled into one. Not only does this coffee maker include a stainless steel carafe that you can use to keep your coffee hot all day, but it also has this nice little stand that you just fold down and it will hold a cup and you can make espresso. But one of my favorite parts of this coffee maker is the built-in burr grinder. So you can add whole beans to the top of this coffee maker and it will grind your beans exactly the way that you like them every single time that you make a cup of coffee. And it also has a very large water reservoir that sits on the side. So even if you're using it as a single serve brewer, you actually don't have to fill it up very often. To test out the true brew, I added some beans to the top of the coffee maker. You can also use coffee grounds if you'd like to. There is a little chute right there beside the where you put the coffee beans and uh, that's where you would put your coffee grounds. You can also choose the size of cup that you'd like to make, the type of coffee. So there's light, gold, bold, espresso, and there's also uh, over ice. There's a digital clock, so you can set that, and there's also auto on. So once you set the clock, you can set the coffee maker to turn on in the morning so that it's hot and ready to go when you choose your brew. One of the first things that I wanted to test out was how the carafe worked. So I chose 40 ounces and I chose the gold brew and I tapped the brew button and it went to work. And the interesting thing about making 40 ounces of coffee in this coffee maker is that it does it in batches. So I had added enough beans so it will grind the beans up, it will disperse the water and it will brew the coffee and then it did it twice more after that. So to get to 40 ounces, it took about three rounds. Once the coffee is brewed, you can take the carafe and just put it on your kitchen table and keep it there all day. I checked, I brewed the coffee at about 9 a.m. and then I checked again around 5 and the coffee was still warm. It wasn't super hot by that point, but the carafe did keep it hot for a long time. I like the stainless steel style of this coffee maker. It's actually really compact despite how many functions it has. So it could easily replace a single serve brewer as well as an espresso machine if you don't mind not having the ability to froth milk where I usually make an Americano. So if I had my kettle there and or if I just wanted to um, have hot water come out of my coffee maker instead, I could easily make an Americano with this machine. The only thing is, as I mentioned, you'd need a milk frother if you wanted to make lattes. More often than not though, I do make coffee just as a single serve and I usually do 12 ounces in my single serve brewer. So I really like that I can do that with this coffee machine. And I absolutely love how you can grind your own beans. It saves on so much waste with the single serve coffee pods. This is just such a better option. Plus when this coffee maker is done, it will actually put the grinds in the grind holder and they come out kind of like a puck. So they're really compressed and that makes it super easy just to throw them in your compost. You can either take the coffee grinds out every time you use the machine or you can wait until the machine flashes. It will flash a little icon near the clock and then you just pull the front of the machine off and you take this out and you can dump the coffee grinds and any excess water on the other side on the left hand side is a water reservoir and you just dump it out, rinse it out and put it back. Given that it has a built-in burr grinder, this coffee maker is a little bit louder than some that I've heard. Here's what it sounds like. The coffee is quite hot when it comes out too. So as you can see, it was about 130 degrees just using the drip coffee feature. 
I did also test out making iced coffee with the DeLonghi True Brew Brewer and uh, it turned out great actually. I poured it over ice and I tested the temperature after and it was a nice 67 degrees. So it wasn't brewing very hot, not or at least not as hot as some of the uh, espresso and the drip coffee was brewing. And last but not least, I made a shot of espresso. And as I mentioned before, there is a nice little shelf that holds your espresso shot glass. And I was so impressed with how the DeLonghi True Brew made espresso. It brewed it up really nicely and it had a nice layer of crema on top. I love the versatility of the DeLonghi True Brew automatic coffee maker and I think that it could easily replace my single serve brewer and my espresso machine because I literally never make lattes. I found it really, really easy to use. It's a little bit on the loud side though when it's grinding beans but other than that it is a great coffee maker. You can see my full review of the DeLonghi True Brew coffee maker at Best Buy's blog. Thanks for watching.